there's a huge difference between one bite and probably 30 bites, which is what we will be at if I try to catch this snake. Who told you this? The snake? Is that who? Whose side are you on? <laughs> Whose side are you on? Okay, I want to do a little follow-up here. Just to, uh, talk a little bit about um, you know the video that I did yesterday that uh, really solidifies the fact that the Roman Catholic Church is the one that came up and pushed this idea of a heliocentric model. Now, if you understand that, then you understand that the people of the time of Jesus, you know, Jesus and Peter, and, you know, his disciples, uh, Paul and John, all of them, James, all of them, Mary, Joseph, all of them understood that the earth was flat. And then you can go back even further to Solomon, to Abraham, the children of Israel. They all understood the earth was flat. And you can go back even further to Noah and his three sons and their wives. They all understood the earth was flat. Adam, Eve, Cain and Abel, Seth, all of them understood the earth was flat. It was not until about 500 years ago that the worldview changed. All right. Now, I want you to think about that. It's interesting. But then, let me show you a verse. Okay, I, it would be un, incomplete if I didn't show you a verse. I mean, I could show you Genesis 1, verse 1, which makes it very clear that the earth is flat. But let's go to Daniel, chapter 1. In the third year, the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. All right, so if we scroll down just a little bit here, we see that, oh, uh, how do I, uh, any problem? Children in whom was no blemish. Right there it is. And the king spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the princes, children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. All right, so this is interesting because these guys, okay, these guys were all cunning in knowledge, skillful in wisdom, in understanding of science. And this is all before Copernicus. This is all before the Roman Catholic Church. This is all before this idea that the Earth is a planet. Okay, and that the Sun goes around this ball Earth. This is all before. So, at what we established yesterday is that up until about 500 years ago, everybody understood the earth was flat. That means these guys that were skillful in all wisdom and cunning and knowledge and understanding and science, they all understood the earth is flat. <laughs>